Sacramento, I'm Mary Ann McClary. A helmet that can help you regrow hair. A NASA scientist invented one. We're going to try it on and find out how it works. More than 56 million Americans currently suffer from hair loss or thinning. Well, now a, nice, a NASA scientist says he's come up with a way they might be able to grow it back. Tamim Hamid is here with the laser hair rejuvenation helmet that's been cleared by the FDA for public use. Now, it sounds like something out of science fiction, well, honestly. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Good to see now, you. How, yeah. long, how long did it take you to develop this? Well, it took us about four years to develop this. And, you know, it's the, the biggest challenge is putting 80 lasers inside a helmet. 80 lasers. That's right. <laughs> That and would you, be a bit of a challenge. That I is would a think. challenge, yeah. and it took a. It, the reason why it took so long is that um, you have to get FDA clearance, sure. and you have to go through all of the regulatory agencies, CE mark, FDA clearance. All that takes a long time to wow. get to. And it's called a theradome helmet. Theradome, is that right? Yeah. Theradome. Okay. Now, if I put this on, will I feel anything? Is it gonna any electricity or anything gonna happen? Just you know, according to all of our FDA studies, uh -huh. we can claim that there's zero side effects. Okay. Is it? And, and is this it is on? the back right here. Yeah, that's right. It's, okay. uh, you can just turn it on and oh, turn it on first and yeah, put it on? Yeah, just like a Sorry. and it talks to you. And you said it just runs on one battery? One battery. What kind of battery? It's a lithium it's about oh, the size of a double okay. A battery. So how I have so many questions. Uh, how do the lasers work to help your hair grow back? Th that's a great question. Um, we all have um, uh, the same concept as photosynthesis, right? Okay. We we take energy from the sun mm -hmm. and we convert it into chemical energy, just like you create vitamin D. The same kind of type of concept is that we have identified, back in 1965, they'd identified that the particular wavelength of 670 nanometers stimulates the mitochondria in each of the hair follicles, and that stimulates the particular hair follicles to regrow. Let's go back. We just ran those pictures, but I didn't realize that we ran away. Oh, I just saw the tail end. We've got uh -huh. some before and after pictures That's that you provided. So yes. tell us what we're looking at. So right here, this is a 17-year-old female patient that uh, was a beauty queen pageant, mm -hmm. and she was losing hair. Um, a man, a, when you lose more than 100 hairs per day, oh. it, that, that constitutes yeah. you know, full-blown hair loss. And she came to us uh, recommended by a physician. We, we went ahead and wow. let her uh, wear this. So Look at that. After and she wore it. Uh, oh, she over abused. I think she wore it a lot more than. <laughs> well, than, it, uh, it, it looks great. Is there great. A damage if you do that? If you no, use it no. more than prescribed. We we when we test it, we test it with twice a week. Okay. Okay. And then, but some people use it more just because they think more is better. Right. And um, but she did get excellent results uh, very quickly. Because, and then she actually ended up winning Miss Teen California. So, wow. So because she she was wearing extensions, she was wearing all kinds of. Um, a wig kind of type of device. Oh my gosh. Yeah. At 17, it's pretty, you know, devastating. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, you were saying that this was kind of created for women mainly. Now, was there a personal experience or someone that came to you yeah. and said, hey, can you help me with this? You, you know, when I first looked at it, um, being in the field of lasers, I said, okay, all guys have hair loss, but a very few do anything about it. But 100% of females will do something about their hair loss because uh, there's just as many women with hair loss as men, believe it or not, but they just hide it a little bit better, you know? Yeah. And um, so when, when, I, when I did this, I was experiencing hair loss as well, but then when I looked at the mark as a business kind of type of thing, I looked at it and said, wow, you know, if 100% if of that market really is actively low looking for something, that's a much better market than a guy just shaving off their sure. head and not being able to do it. Uh, now, I know it's, it's it's pricey, but I guess it's all relative. About $900? Yeah, it's nine, it, and it lasts, uh, the lasers last about 6,000 hours. Okay. Yeah, so if you seems... do twice a week, uh, it should last you about 90 years. All right. Yeah. Well, that so, yeah. <laughs> so have you thought about like home shopping network or something, or can we get it through right. your website? Yeah, out? yeah I know well, you know, actually know there's, um, the, there's um, salons okay. uh, here, like uh, Natural Look um, Transitions here in wow. Sacramento, Bosley Medical, Hair Club for Men. They're all, okay. um, right. you know, resellers. I mean, if you think about the money that men pay for plugs and That's surgeries right. and lotions and balms. Yeah. Yeah. This is about 25 cents a day. That's nice. it. affordable. And versus we... like, you know, with something with like Propecia or right. some right. medication with side effects and yeah. good for you to me. Yeah. Thank We've got uh, Thank you. website linked to ours. If you want to go to gooddaysacramento.com, oh, click show info anything. at the top of the page and then today's date, uh, you'll be able to find a link to it there. Thank you so much for Thank coming in. Thank you for in. having us. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Wow. Your helmet's talking. <laughs> yes. <laughs>